Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So, there I was, chilling by myself, and I got a ping on Discord, and I saw the dev had posted some stuff about um, some balance changes. So they, so they buffed some people, wait did they? Yeah, so they buffed some people and they nerfed some people, and Kuzanagi was one of the people that they nerfed. So I'll go over the patch notes really quickly. So, Reyna's unique energy cost went from 35 down to 25. Alina's turret no longer targets other turrets. This counters uh, OP tipping strategy that was going around. Pack 2's ultimate barrage knockback went from 100% knockback to 80%. And here's the Kuzanagi nerf. So, Kuzanagi's special attack, so her dash, energy cost went from 30 to 50. And... Normally, Kusanagi benefited from knockback cancel and dash velocity. And the energy was like also low. But now, when she gets attacked mid-dash, it will affect her. So before, if you dash and someone hit you, the knockback of that attack wouldn't affect you like at all. But now, it will have an effect on Kusanagi if she gets hit mid-dash. However, I think she still can cancel knockbacks I, I don't know it's I'm a bit confused about it that's what I'm about to play test it now and then lastly for Fiona her basic attack damage went from 15 down to 12 which hurts a little bit so I'm gonna go into some competitive 1v1s and I'm gonna see how bad the nerfs are. So where where is she? Where's my girl? So from reading the patch notes, even with the extra 20 energy that um that it costs now to cast your dash, I still think it's a really good move. It's still one of her best moves. I don't think Kuzanagi's any weaker, honestly. Well, like obviously she's weaker, but like I don't think the changes really affect her that much. You can't spam the dash as much as you used to. You have to think a little more about when you want to dash, and you have to pay attention to your energy a little bit more. But I don't think overall it makes that big of a change for the good Kuzanagi players. So I'll see you guys when I get into game. Alright, so we're back. We are going to get to Ryan. So this is this is a pretty this is a pretty smooth matchup for Kusanagi. Just as long as I play it well, it sh should go pretty well. I have a he has his dash that I can parry. It's pretty like telegraphed as well. Overall, I think this is a pretty good matchup for Kusanagi. This guy knows what he's doing. This is also my first game on, so I'm a bit. A bit sloppy right now. Nope. We're gonna edge guard him. Yep. This first stock. Honestly, I don't really feel the change that much. I mean, I can. My energy is like always lower than like it normally would be, but like, I don't really feel it that much. My ult. Oh, oh. oh, I feel it there a little bit. I was just gonna try to dash again, but I didn't have enough energy to. GG's. Or oh, GG's. <laughs> that was a good play from them. I do feel like a really like. I do feel slower overall. Thanks, Nagi. I need to get ult off. Oh man, that sucks. So I can't ult him when he's ulting, which is a bit weird. If it, like, I thought it would count, but it doesn't. I 
There you go. That parry. Send, send them off. That's like the unfortunate thing about Kusanagi now is that she's like way more energy expensive. Oh. Right there. Did you oh. So I tried dashing and he hit me with his um strange ability and it sent me back in the dash. Oh, it happened again there. Before you used to be able to spam dash and parry. A lot, but now you kind of have to like this. You kind of have to pick between like which one you want to use. You can't do both. I misplayed that really bad. I might die here. Yep, he canceled it. Ooh, thank God for my recovery. There you go. That's the parry I needed. Does he recover? Nope. So, I can definitely feel the change. Izanagi is slower. Most definitely. Just like overall. You have to definitely be more like... Um... Decisive about what you want to do. You can't just like... You can't parry and dash constantly at the same time. You definitely have to like pick between the two of like which one you want to do. Oh, I did a free for all. Whatever, this is fine. I wanted to do another 1v1, but we'll, we'll throw in a free for all. But overall, I, I like the changes. I don't feel like I can express my skill that I have. Kuzanagi, I still feel like She's strong, but she's definitely isn't as oppressive as she used to be. I, I think I do think this change is really healthy for the game. This is the first four v four map. Four v four. This is the first free for all match I've played since the new update. I've been so, I've been so obsessed with um, one v ones. So we have to mine the bombs. The pack two might be a bit problematic. I think the Seth is AFK, so I can just push him off. Oh, he's like disconnected, so I can't really knock him off. The game's a bit loud. Turn that down a little bit. Perfect ult. Fuck, he's dead. And this guy's dead too. I'm gonna edge guard him. He doesn't have enough energy to get back. Ooh, Seth's back as well. Why is this music so loud? I wanna be able to, like, cure the abilities and stuff, but. I can't tell when the grenade's gonna go off because I can't f***ing hear my game because of the music. And I can't change it mid-game. This sucks a lot. Oh my god, I can't believe I just died to that. He's not even trying to basic attack, he's just like, right-clicking. I hate that move so much. Baktu is one of my least favorite characters to play against because of that move, literally. It's so oppressive. If you're like inside of, inside of him, he pushed out. And if you're in front of him, he like pushes you back even more. I'm just like, why? I get nice and close to him, so he takes damage from the bomb too. 
I'll just dash back. Oh, wait, I don't make that? What? I need to play a bit more defensive. I'm gonna stick back and only try to get poke damage. I'm literally behind him and a move hit me. Like, I, like, Block 2's hitboxes are so wild, it's not even funny. The Seth keeps using that move. That move isn't very good, by the way. If you think about winning Seth, try not to use that move too much. I can actually zone him. Like this. I can hit him before he can hit me. He might die, actually. What to say? If he can recover, he's like hacking. There's no way they had enough energy. This is gonna be hard, but this match is winnable. I think everyone's just like playing defensive. I don't really want to attack Pock too because he's obnoxious. Fuck that move. Guess it wasn't close enough. I can't parry it either because it has such a long range. Oh, I'm dead. That was a good match. I got a lot of kills. And Seth disconnected. Pop 2 is... I think he's definitely like top 3 characters in the game. Like he literally has everything a character needs. For 1v1s and free for alls. And I feel like he wouldn't be so bad if he, um. Like, I mean, like, bad as in, like, annoying to play against. He wouldn't be as annoying to play against if his hitboxes were more consistent. Like, I wish it was, like, a sweet spot type of thing. Where if you're in front of this stand, like, it hits you. But if you're, like, on top of him, the stand is, like, in front of his character. If you're inside his character model, then, like, it shouldn't hit you. And if you're behind him, it definitely shouldn't hit you. It should be, like, a sweet spot type of hitbox. And you should get rewarded if you can get it consistently. But instead, it's kind of like a... It hits literally everywhere. And it's super spammable, too. It's such an annoying attack. We also have a mirror matchup. Fun fact about me, I hate mirror matchups. In like any game ever. Mirror matchups are just not my thing. So, this is game three. This Kuzanagi is AFK. Also, the audio is like glitching out. I can hear the lobby music, but I can also hear the in game music as well. Ah, uh, goddammit. Oh, she missed roll. That's unfortunate. Also, when I say Kuzanagi's ult's inconsistent, that's what I mean. I had her at like 300%, or like 200 or something like that. And it just didn't work. I think that's interesting. Oh, I was going to say she's using her dash at all. I want her to dash to me again. She should die. No? Yo. 
her ping is so bad. Oh, that's interesting. So this person definitely has some horrible internet for... Yeah, that's, that's for sure. I don't know what to do about that. It sucks, I can't really like parry because I need the... Um... What? How do I play against this? Do I like alter? I don't know if I should alter or not because she's like teleporting constantly. I can hit her. Oh. Where did she go? Also, oh, if that doesn't kill, what the hell? They nerf her ult? It doesn't launch you, like, at all. That was a beautiful parry. Her ult's, like, not doing what it's, like, normally supposed to do, I think. It doesn't feel very good to use right now. Normally, like, even if the ult doesn't kill, it feels, like, pretty nice. Or, like, it knocks them, like, pretty far, but now, it's kind of just like, it throws him back just like a little bit. Hit her with the parry, but, oh, oh no, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, I just ended Q, so, I think a good balance for these gameplay videos is two free-for-alls and then two 1v1s just so we can i can cover what everyone wants to see hopefully this you doesn't take too long i'll see you guys when i get in game game four um such isn't looking too bad i'm not really particularly mad at any of the characters that are here I think the most problematic character might be Zal, just because his basic attack range is massive, so I can't attack him. Oh, you have to be careful when you dash. You have to do it after you get knocked back, otherwise you just... ...die. I recovered from that. That was a good ult from Fiona, though. I had to block the grenade. She has her ult up already? I didn't think she hit any of us that many times before she ulted. We're gonna try to edge guard Fiona. Oh, she placed a knife, I guess. Zhao's basic attack is the most obnoxious basic attack in the game. He didn't even try, he just like died. I can let these two fight it out for now. I'm gonna wait until Fiona ults. Before I go near her. I'm pretty sure she has it. Why do you attach it to me? I think he just killed himself with it, yeah. 
His ult's so dangerous to use, it's not even like... I think it's a pretty bad ult, honestly. She was saving that ult for me. She she was holding that ult for f literally forever until she got near me. I'm kinda going after Fiona a little bit. Oh, so I can dash out of that. Are you still here? There you go, finally. He kinda did he kinda did it for me. Cooked that grenade for a little bit too long. I just barely made it back on. Oh no! I'm not even sure what happened there. That was like. That was so much. I'm gonna try to kill Fiona. I can take the one, the other guy in a 1v1 pretty easily. He doesn't really have any moves that are like good in 1v1s. Like this grenade's super blockable. He's just like not a great character for 1v1s at all. So the only character that can really like kill me right now is Fiona. So I'm gonna try to focus her. I'm still having a hard time with the audio. I can't exactly like hear the grenades when like grenades are gonna go off right now. Nah, she's dead. Just knowing that she makes it back. Alright. So it's just me and this guy. All you gotta do is just block the grenades. So just have enough energy to block the grenades. If he throws a Molotov, to honestly taking the damage doesn't even like matter. He can just like walk through it and it's fine. If he ults you, just be prepared to cancel the knockback if you dash with your dash. And that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do with this character. And his energies are his energies. His moves are really energy expensive, so it's just a matter of time before you knock him off and he can't recover. But yeah, that's about it. Overall, I think the Kusanagi buff buffs, the Kusanagi nerves aren't that big of a deal. It does change how you have to play her, but overall, she's still the same character that she's always been. And I think the changes are really healthy for the game overall. Just because you can't dash spam as much as you used to. It's no longer like spammable. You definitely have to like think about how you use it now. And not being able to dash through like knockbacks like sucks. <laughs> like I'm, <laughs> I think that's like the worst part of the change is that like I want to be able to dash through projectiles, but I can't because the projectiles will knock me back. So I can't just like instinctually right click anymore. I have to like pay attention to like what I'm about to get hit by. But anyways, that's this video done. Um. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching.